Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to design shear walls in ATAP software. I will select the walls first by going to object type. Right click on the screen and show selected objects only. Now select all the walls again. And going to this icon here, shear wall design or from design, shear wall design. We can check these options, for example, the first one. Here the rebar material used for vertical and horizontal reinforcement, reduction factors, and maximum allowed percentage of reinforcement used in shear wall. For example, this one, the maximum permissible tension reinforcement allowed in edge member is equal to 6%, and for compression is equal to 4%. Therefore, I will not change anything from this option. Going again to the second one, here the rebar selection rule. Uh, actually, I will not use these things because I will assign less than four section using section designer. From here, view revised peers overrides. We need to make sure about this one, design is seismic yes or no. This affects the reduction factor used, shear reduction factor. For example, for seismic shear walls, we use a reduction factor equal to 0.6, while for ordinary shear wall we use 0.75. Therefore, I will assume that my shear wall are seismic or special RC shear walls. And from this one, make sure about it is design, not a check, and OK. Lastly, we need to go to this one, assign peer sections. I will select the second one here, uniform reinforcing. And please check this one, reinforcement to be designed. We need to design shear walls inside ETAPS. I will select this option and OK. Lastly, we need to select the load combination from this option, select design combinations. Select those load combinations and click this arrow here. Of course, we don't need these load combinations. We need just those and OK. I will start designing these first two walls by selecting them and from this option start design a check. This is the amount of reinforcement or area of reinforcement should be provided. Right click on the wall here. This will pop up design details. For example the required reinforcement ratio is 0.025% which is the minimum reinforcement. This is the flexure combination controlling the design. These are the design demands for flexure P and M. P means axial force, M means moment. And here are the shear design values. VC means concrete shear capacity. VU means the demand from the analysis or from the load combination, this one. As shown, the wall doesn't fail. And by providing this amount of reinforcement ratio, we can design this shear wall. Okay, I have prepared this Excel sheet for designing shear walls. First of all, we need to know the thickness of this wall. It's 0.5. Actually, by clicking also on right click on this one, we can know this information. The thickness here is 0.5. The length is 5.2 meter. The required reinforcement ratio is 0.0025. And what I have did here is just I have used this equation to compute the spacing. We can derive it from this equation. Reinforcement ratio is equal to AS or area of steel divided by area of concrete. And since we have two bars in each strip, therefore 2 times pi over 4 d squared d is the diameter of bar used. And S multiplied T, T is the thickness of the wall. Therefore, from this one, we can obtain the spacing of bars. And of course, AS used is just equal to thickness multiplied by length multiplied by reinforcement ratio. Of course, this one is the required reinforcement area. It's not the provided. By selecting this one, torque number 12, for example, and I want to provide 15 centimeter as a spacing between bars. As shown here, what I have did, I say that if the spacing is greater than 20 centimeter, please, I want to 
provide a 20 cm as spacing. If the spacing obtained from this equation is greater than 15 cm, please use 15. This is what I'm doing. I'm just fixing the spacing to 20, 15, and 10 cm based on the reinforcement used. Therefore, the area of reinforcement used by providing this amount of bars is equal to 81. And now for designing the shear reinforcement, similarly we go again to ETAPS and we read it from here. We need 1250 millimeter square per meter. Also the spacing is based on the reinforcement ratio and the bar size used. And it's just equal to the same equation here. Also I have fixed the spacing between reinforcement to 20, 15 and 10 cm based on the torque used. And the area of shear reinforcement provided is equal to 1508 based on this torque and this spacing. Therefore, this is how we can obtain the reinforcement based on the results obtained from ETAPS software. Similarly, I will obtain the information here for the same wall but at story number 5. Right click on this one. Right click. Now it's story number 5. As shown here, the required reinforcement ratio is 0.037 and thickness 0.5, 5.2, the length of course, providing torque 14 mm at spacing of 15 cm, we are providing an area of reinforcement equal to 110 cm of power square. Similarly for shear design, we need this amount of reinforcement and I will just keep those the same. We just need to do the same for all walls and just in the same way. I show you how to design shear walls, they have just a planar length. Now let me show you how to design core walls, the one at the middle. I will select pier number 9 show selected objects only select the wall and just click this icon here Okay, right I click on this one, the shear wall at the first story. The thickness is 0 0.5. I will go to this Excel P9. The length of this wall is 2 3.5. Reinforcement ratio is 0 0.0025 And for shear design We have just this value, the same one, which is the minimum actually Now since I have here in this shear wall different thickness over the height of the building For example, the red color means 0 0.5 as a thickness for walls that have this blue color, they have a thickness of 0 0.45. Right click again. Now as shown here, the thickness is 0 0.45. We have the same length and same reinforcement ratio as shown here. For shear design, we need to provide 1125 millimeters square per meter. Actually, let me show you something. If we go to display design info, we can check the reinforcement ratio instead of area of steel. As shown here, we just need to provide minimum reinforcement.
therefore minimum over all the height of the building right click on this one okay the end of the wall that have a thickness of 0 0.45 is at story number 19 this is what I have did here I said that from story number 6 to 19 we have a wall thickness of 0 0.45 now for this one also we have the minimum reinforcement ratio required okay right click this wall have a thickness of 0 0.4 with the same length minimum reinforcement ratio and for shear design we need to provide 1000 millimeter square per meter and I have put in the last one a summary of the reinforcement ratio or percentage of reinforcement ratio used in each of the walls along with the height of the building as shown in this table now the last step is to go to E-tabs and let's start here by the first shear wall actually P1, P2, P7, 8 they have the same reinforcement therefore I will define it from here I will go to define general peer section okay add a peer section I will name it P1 from story number 1 to story number 4 please select the compressive strength equal to 50 megapascal for vertical elements we can start from an existing wall peer for example I can select story number 4 select peer number one and if I click section designer and as shown ETABs have drawn the wall section for us but I prefer to do it in different way I will click this one add a new peer section and section designer and from draw concrete shape rectangle just click at the center here right click on this one the thickness is 500 and 5 to the length ok now from draw rebar shape rectangular bar and click at the center again right click the height is 500 I will provide 50 from each side therefore 400 similarly the length is 520 and I want to provide 50 from each side this means 510 and ok right click on the bar we need to select for this one torque number 12 the spacing is 150 and I will click apply to all edges now for the corner bars just select torque number 12 apply to all corners and ok just in the same way I have did the columns maybe you can check the video for designing columns and I will copy the interaction surface of course I want the strong axis around axis number two the last step is to assign those sections to shear walls And actually for pier number one two seven eight we have two sections at the last story which is story number five we have a different reinforcement ratio we should provide torque number 14 but I will assign torque number 12 in order to check if the wall will fail now from assign general reinforcing and for those walls select p1 p1 and please check this one reinforcement to be checked and ok and now the last step is to check if we have provided an enough reinforcement area or ratio
by selecting the same walls again and I will click this one right click on the first wall as shown here the D over C ratio is 0 0.6 And from this option again, we can we can view the D over C ratio by going to Display Design Info, and here Peer D over C ratio. And this is the end of this video, and please continue the next one.